In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a really awesome stroke text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, and as you can see, we have a brand new sequence created. Now, in order to begin, we first just want to go to the type tool. As you'll see, the keyboard shortcut for this is T. Then just select your video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we'll go to the effect controls window, go to that text layer that we just created and change the font, change the weight, change the size, center this, change color, do what you need to do to this, but just go ahead and edit your text. Now from here, I'm just gonna extend the duration of this to around 10 seconds. And this is a great starting point. Now, obviously this is a stroke text animation and at the moment what we have is a fill text. So we're just going to go into our text layer. So go text, book of films, and you're going to find the stroke here under appearance. So we'll turn off fill and we'll turn on stroke. And that is our stroke text. So we can increase the number here and that is going to increase the thickness. But of course, if you are increasing the thickness, you can see it all starts to merge together. So I would increase the kerning or the character spacing in that case, which is VA. And that's going to look a bit better that way. But I do prefer more of a thin stroke rather than a thicker stroke, to be honest. Now, in order to create this animation, we're going to need to go ahead and separate all of the characters. So at the moment, we just have one text layer for the entire phrase. I want to go ahead and create a text layer for every single letter. So I'm going to get rid of the films. I'm just going to focus on Brooker for now. So I've got B-R-O-O-K-E-R. -O -O that is seven lines that I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this first one B. Then I'm just going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to hold option on my keyboard and that is on Mac. If you're on Windows, I believe the button is Alt ALT. Drag that up to make a copy. Then we'll do the same thing again. Highlight those three, drag all three up so that we've just copied three. Then we'll do one more to create seven. Now, if you go ahead and find the text window, so that is text. If you can't find that there, it should be in window and then text should be there. But if you go over into graphics, you can see we've got V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. And this is just video layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and onwards. So we can go ahead and change the letters here. So B, R, O, and that an O, that one a K, this one an E, and this one an R. So we've got all of our individual letters now on individual tracks. So we now just need to go ahead and space these out. So we're going to come out of text and we'll go back to effect controls and I'm just going to pull this over to the left. Then we'll go to R. We'll pull R over. And you just want to keep working on this process until you've got this perfectly in line. Now, a quick tip for you, if you want to make this really easy for you to line up, go ahead and make a copy of the R layer. Then we'll just change that one. So this is now V8. You want to go ahead and change this one to the full word or phrase that you are creating. So in my example, that is Brooker. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to effect controls. We'll pull the opacity down. And now you can see we can use this as a template so we can move the R over and that is sitting perfectly in place. So just keep going through this process and make sure every single character is lined up. Now, of course, whilst I'm doing this, it is always worth thinking about plugins because plugins are really great options if you want to save time. Now, plugins are great, but there are limitations. Obviously, you can't design something from scratch. You have to go off what the creator has made. But I imagine there is probably a plugin out there for something along these lines. It's just whether you want to purchase that plugin or not, and it depends on if you want full flexibility or not. You're essentially trading creative freedom and money for time. So if you want to save time, use a plugin. But if you want to save yourself some money and get a little bit more creative freedom on the animations that you're creating, then it's always worth doing these by scratch. I know there's not a quicker way of doing this. This is quite painfully slow, but believe me, it's definitely worth it. Right, now that's all done, I can now go ahead and delete the template layer. So in order to animate these on, I'm actually going to flicker these between full and stroke. So fill and stroke. So I'm just going to go two keyframes to the right and make a cut on R. Two keyframes to the right, make a cut on R. And to load this tool, by the way, this is the razor tool, which is C. Great. And then I'm just going to go one frame before that 
and make that cut as well. So as you can see, I'm just working my way down. And if we delete all of the starting ones, you can see we've got one frame at the start of every single line. So if we go to that one, so if we go to B at the very beginning on this individual clip here, we want to change the stroke to a fill. And then we can do the same thing on the R. We can change this from a stroke to a fill. And again, just keep working through this process, changing this one frame character from a stroke to a fill. Right, let's play that back. That's how that looks. That looks pretty cool. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you don't just have to do one frame of that solid text of that fill. You could maybe flicker back to it. So if we go to the R, we'll change this one. So we go fill, stroke, and then we can go fill again. So if we play that back, pay attention to the first O, you see it flickers again. And we'll do the same thing on the E, but we'll do it a few more times. So this can be a fill. And this one can be a fill. Let's play that back. You see, you've got a bit more of that flicker effects now going on. It looks quite cool. So feel free to go through that process. Or alternatively, if you wanted to, you could extend the duration of the fill. So on R, we've made that a three frame fill. And then on the K, we'll make that even longer. So as you see, that's a bit more unpredictable now. It looks really cool. But once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and nest every single one of these lines. So we want to put the R in a nested sequence. We want to put the E in a nested sequence, the K in a nested sequence, and so on and so forth. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we can now go ahead and animate the scale and the position of each individual character without affecting that flicker effect that we just created. So let's go to the B, for example. Let's go a few frames in. We'll unlink scale. We'll go to scale height and create a new keyframe on 100. Now we'll go back to the very beginning. We'll pull that all the way up to around 400. Now when we play this back, you'll see that is what is happening. Now, just to take that one step further, I'm just going to cut the video at that point. And then I'm just going to get rid of what we've just done and make that 100%. So it only starts to scale down here and then goes back to normal, which is quite a cool effect. Or alternatively, we could go, let's go to the K, go a few frames in, and for a few frames, we'll just make that K really big. There you go, that looks really cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the R as well. So for the first few frames in its existence, we'll make the R really big, move that back in line, and that's that effect. Of course, as well, you could keep carrying on with this stroke animation. So a few seconds in, you could change all of these to fill. You could stagger them one after another. But just making cuts in your text and then changing it from stroke to fill or fill to stroke or changing the size of it, changing the position of it, it's going to create this really cool effect. But that's just one way that you can create some really cool text inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there we go. That is the effect now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.